Here, let's just go down here. What the hell? We got an automatic shotgun. What are we afraid of? Hey, Mr. Crawler. <laughs> Wrecking face. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is Alpha 19 Experimental, where we play this game on insane difficulty. As long as you're all set the name or speed, we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, so I spent, uh, I don't know, about an hour or so off camera um, doing a little bit of salvaging. So we took the impact wrench out, and uh, we just got a bunch more uh, salvage. We've got uh, some brass radiators that we got smelting down in here. And um, I got... My, my inventory got completely full and cleaning the mini bike, so I had to come back and drop it off. And uh, one of the things I want to do is turn in uh, our quest. And then I got a few books that I found. Uh, I found Hop Seed Recipe Bar Brawling 5. So one, uh, you recover one hit point with every punch. And then we found the Reflex Sight Mod Schematic. So let's read those. I also, in addition to that, I found one of the Fireman books. Um, the one that causes uh, fire fire weapons to burn longer. Uh, where's the fireman's almanac? Yeah, fire-based weapons burn 10% longer. So we found that too uh, whilst we were out and about. And then uh, all of this loot here uh, we found in, you know, just did some minor looting. What, what I mean by minor looting is if I'm out and about and I'm renting cars or whatever, I'll... Uh, <clears throat> You know, I'll loot the cars, or if I see, like, a, you know, a Shaka Messiah box or a Shamway box in the garage or something like that, I'll hit it. But, you know, fat loots, like, that, that are in the big crates and safes and stuff like that, I'll, I'll make sure and do that stuff on camera. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take all this stuff over and sell it, too, and make ourselves some more bank. The, the next quest that I have on my list, uh, this one, no, this one. Is the same damn building again, but, you know, and not only the same POI, but the same actual building. So this would be like the third time in a row we've done that. So, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to show you guys that on camera. What I might do is just do it and then show you the end loot or something. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if we can spot this drop while it's still up in the sky. I think, I think I just saw it through the, yeah, there it is. All right, well, let's go get this drop first. We might as well. Okay, let's see what we got. Military leg armor, nice. Uh, not, not, not as good as what we have, though, uh, for sure. We have, like, purple iron armor, I think. Um, that's probably worth, <coughs> excuse me, worth selling. This is worth fixing up and selling. So let's grab those two things and then, um, you know, basically just food, meds, and that sort of thing. So we're going to need to uh, make make some spots here. So let's go ahead and we'll put maybe like all the magazines and schematics in there. And we'll grab all that stuff. Okay, cool. Um, let's see, how's our inventory? Yeah, we're really full already. I was thinking about, since we're on this end of town, we might as well just knock that quest out really quick. The problem is I'm going to run out of space, though. I suppose we could do a drop chest if we had to. But yeah, it's the same house. So this is like the third time. You know, I, I really am enjoying the questing si system. And I, but, you know, and I mentioned this to one of you guys in the comments, is don't send me, keep sending me the same damn place over and over. It sucks. Especially on tier two, because uh, there's you know there's a lot more variety out there. Well, okay, let's just knock this thing out uh, real quick. I'm you know I can't double loot it anyway, so there's no point in trying that. We might as well eat because uh, our food is down just a little bit low, and then we'll just put all this crap in the the mini bike.
At least this POI doesn't take very long, so, you know, there is that. It's pretty quick to get through. I don't have any eye candy on me, do I? No, nope, I don't. Okay, so let's do the food first. Then we'll do the ammo. Then we'll do this. Okay, good. Some more steel tool parts. Um, you know, we can make blue steel tools uh, because I am level 4 in uh, Miner 69er. we got a bunker buster. That's good. Some military parts, and we are out of space. Stop. Got it. All right, let's eat this. We'll take both of those. We don't need one feather. We don't need that iron. Let's see what else is in here. Um, ooh, that's a pretty decent bow, but not as good as this crossbow. Um, I could sell that for some decent money, or I could take it. I, I could scrap it and get the parts. Because you know what? We we can make a compound crossbow. We just don't have any points, um, you know, in that. I'm not going to take the arrows. We'll take that stuff, of course. So I need one slot. Where are we going to get one slot? What do we not absolutely need here? Let's have a beer. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so we're at the trader. Um, we want to grab pretty much everything in here except for that. Um, we don't need the hackers. And let's just leave our lockpicks and our uh, our pick pick. Now nah, let's leave our shovel, just in case I forget it. Forget forget. Man, work mouth uh, that I put those in there. Okay. Hi, well, Dr. J. A sight for sore eyes. All right. Um, what can I get you? Ah, oh, shit. You know what? We don't have uh, enough room to grab whatever her reward is. I, I know it usually drops on the counter, but I've lost stuff doing it that way before, so I don't want to take any chances. So let's just put that in there so we have a, a spot, and we'll come back for it. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you. Good job. All right, look, a pistol upgrade. We will take that. Um, And we get uh, 5,000 XP, 1469 Dukes. What's your next job? Tier 2. Buried supplies, a fetch and a clear. You know what? Let's take the fetch and clear because it gives the most. Um, and it's to the northwest, which is territory I don't think we've uncovered you need yet. some work? I need some commission. Oh, this is a dangerous one. I just don't I want it to, to um, send me the same damn place again. Get radiated. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this. And if we don't get over to Trader Hugh before it wears out, I have another one. Uh, all right, let's sell. So, I have my cigar in too, so we're going to get um, a bonus from that. All right, so we ended up with 14,813 coin when that was all said and done. Um... Looks like she does have a new inventory. Hunter's Journal, 10% more damage to coyotes. Um, if you're getting elixirs, 32,000. Of course, we're not still not quite ready for that. Let's see what else she has here. Another wooden bow. All right. Let's look at the normal inventory here. Da, 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 da. It's a green pistol. It does 39 damage. Versus 35. 
let's let's buy these for sure so we can start saving up for our our, our auto shotgun okay she's how much if we buy all that forged steel how much is that going to cost us you know what i'm going to do it again for the auto shotgun that was kind of expensive but money is for spending that's all the stuff we sold her all right you know what i think i might like to do this is kind of spendy too but we got the money i think i'm gonna buy this there we go <coughs> excuse me it's Thanks a done for deal me take care of you and tell your friends because now we've got two mod slots in uh, a, a much better pistol let's take that off of there and we will put it on here and we'll figure out a, another mod for that too maybe the we'll make that reflex sight or something cool all right so that's a pretty decent pistol upgrade um these two i'm going to scrap and hang on to the parts for making guns later i know i can make a pretty nice chunk of change on that but i'd rather get the parts from it for now so we'll scrap that too it's too bad that more expensive ones didn't give you more parts but that's not the way it works you didn't have any shotguns did you like cheap ones i don't think she did nope you All right. Stock up on medical supplies. There's a zombie apocalypse out there. There sure are. Uh, sure is, rather. <laughs> sure are. Sure is. All right. Let's go see Trader Hugh and uh, do the turn in for him and see what he has in his inventory. Oh, darn it. I forgot to check the vending machine at uh, Trader, Trader Gin. Okay. No loitering. Incredible. I didn't think you'd pull it off. Here's All right. Bounty. Um, this is, this is kind of lame for level two quest reward. Guess we'll take the vitamins. I mean, I don't need the pickaxe. Oh, we're done with tier two. Nice. I didn't think we were that close. Cool. Okay. Um, let's take... We've got some antibiotics back at the base. Let's take the fittings mod. Dang, guys. I didn't even think we were done with tier two yet, but we are. Thank you, Survivor, for finishing some of these tasks for me. Here's a reward for all your hard work. Check back tomorrow and we'll have a right. Okay. Got any special jobs? Tier three opening trade routes. I've got a task for you. We are expanding trade routes to the northeast. Tell the folks at Trader Gin that our dukes are shiny and they will have reward. So another Trader Gin hmm, to the northeast. Okay, well, we haven't found that trader, so once we do find it, we will have uncovered four traders. I had no idea it was that close to finishing Tier 2. We've really been cranking them out, haven't we? Uh, okay, so let's go uh, take a look at your inventory. He's got some cool music in his place. Night Stalker Volume 4, Never Encumbered at Night. Um, let's keep that one in mind. I want to see what else he has first before we... Okay, we're, that, we're buying those, hands down. That'd probably be worth buying just for the parts. Uh, okay, anything else? I think that's all he has in his secret stash. He does have another 2x scope. But I, I want actually I want to I want to find something a little more powerful for our sniper rifle. So let's keep the night stalker in mind. But let's go back to or let's look at the the main inventory now. It's got a 44 Magnum. That's cool. And back driver. Do, 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 do. More forged steel. Okay, we need how much forged? I think we needed 90, right, for the shoddy. Okay, let's keep that in mind. I guess you're not so bad after all. Okay, so yeah, we need 90. And I think I have like, I don't know, 12 to 15 or so back at the base. But it wouldn't hurt to have some extra steel anyway. Um, because we need it for steel tools too. So you know what? It's only money. We'll get more. We will get up so much money by the time we're done with this playthrough, we won't know what to do with it. So I'm going to buy this. Don't really care about batter up so much. 
And um, let's go ahead and buy the um, the steel. So where do we find that at? Here? Yeah. How much is for all of it? 4,000 Dukaruskis. Woo! You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. That way we have, hopefully we'll have enough to make a, a blue steel pick after we make the shotgun. Um, but he never, he didn't have a shotgun, did he? No. Time to move on. How many shotgun parts does this thing require? 18. Oh, you know what? We might actually have enough now. No, I don't think we quite have enough because I think I have seven back at the base. So that would be 14. We need to come up with four more shotgun parts. All right, we're getting close, guys. We're getting close to that auto shotgun. Yeah, finishing the tier two totally took me by surprise. I didn't take a job from him. Actually, you know what? Let's not, because then the next time we come back here, he'll have tier three, tier threes for us. Where is um this new Trader Gin? It said it was to the northeast. Oh wow! Look how close we were too. <laughs> We're so close, we never, just never looked in, in the right direction. See, the problem with over here, though, is there's there's not a good way to get there. I mean, I guess we could travel along here. How much, what time is it? It's 1932. You know what? Let's, let's just go there now and see if we can get there before nightfall. So we're going to follow this road out of town and then head north, and hopefully that will take us where we need to go. All right, here we are at the next Trader Gin. Sister of Trader Gin. Our Trader Gin. If you are here to buy, I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Okay. Don't spend it all in one place. Let's uh, get our reward. Make sure it's here. And, whoo, tier three, look at that. Look at us and our bad selves. We want to fetch and clear. And um, if we take one to the south, that'll actually take us more closer to our home even though we're kind of more like to the southwest. There's a clear to the southwest, but I want to do a fetch and clear. Household bug. Okay, we'll take that. Do hurry. I have a protection payment coming up soon. Now, let's look at her uh, inventory. Okay, what do you have? Hunter's Journal 7, we already know that. Some bow parts, a compound crossbow. Magnum Enforcer Volume 4. Barney with a 44. Ooh. That's something I might be interested in if she doesn't have shotgun parts for us to buy. Ooh, night vision goggles. Hey, and that's that's a little bit out of our reach yet, but when we start... Boy, those are kind of damn rare, though, aren't they? I don't, actually, I can't afford them, so it's a moot point. Okay, what do you have in your normal inventory? I'm looking for shotgun parts or a cheap shotgun that we can buy and break down into parts. Lucky Looter, Pistol Pete. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I'm thinking. Too bad I couldn't help you. Let's pop one of these. Well, maybe next time. All right. So I want um, Magnum Enforcer. I wish. I actually wished I did have enough money to buy those now that I think about it because they are pretty rare, but we'll probably come across them again. All right, so we bought that. Let's go back to here, and where do you get to books in the normal inventory? There. Okay, so it's under mods. Uh, let's buy both of these, so find more lead and loot. Not that I care about that. I just want to get the Lucky Looter tree done, though. And armor piercing 9 mil. Oh, shit. We <laughs> don't have enough money. Oh, man. I should have bought the other first because I wanted that one more. Ugh. All right. When do you reset? Restock on day 28. Uh, we have time. We have time. Okay. We'll, we'll come back, you know, with some more money uh, to get that. We'll just have to remember to do it. Uh, okay, so never encumbered at night. Again, I'm not learning that because of that specific thing, but for the tree itself. Uh, Barding with a 44 gun. I think we have a 44 back at the base. So we have to remember to start taking it with us to the traders and then let in the loot. 
shoot, man. How how could we make some more money? I mean, I don't really want to sell anything to her. Yeah, I don't think we can. All right. Let's buy food. And we are done here. So let's get out of here because she's going to start kicking us out here pretty soon. That quest that we took is to the south. Oh, good. It is It is actually in our town. Okay, cool. Very good. Um, the tier two quest that our, our trader gen gave us. Where is that? That's actually quite a long ways. Oh, shit. That was loud. <laughs> yeah, that's way the hell up there. I'm almost, I'm almost tempted just to cancel that and because tomorrow she'll have the tier threes. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I know. I, I, I'm a... I'm a loser, but <laughs> I'm just going to cancel it. Um, and this one we can do in our, in our own hometown. All right, guys. Well, this was a good day. This was a good day. We got to tier three. We damn near have everything we need to make our auto shotgun. Um, you know, something occurred to me, too. We I have seven back at home. We have 14 here. And how much do we need again uh, for the auto shotgun? 18. If I scrap this, how much, how many parts is it going to give me? Four. That's enough. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back to the base and just double check that that's the actual amount that we have. Okay, so for our shotgun parts, we have uh, 14. Okay, so I was right. Okay, let's... Double check it, make sure I'm not screwing something up. So we need four more parts, and if we scrap this, we get four more parts. There we go. Okay, so we got the steel, we got the, the parts. What else do we need? Duct tape, plastic, and springs. We've got lots of duct tape. Well, we, how much how much did it say we need? I didn't pay attention. Duct tape. We need two more. Two more. Okay. Let's just make 50 duct tape, and that way we have them. Have it, because we're going to need it for other stuff, too. Um, cloth. So I'm just going to make two right now so we can get the shotgun started. Okay. Here we go, guys. Auto shotgun. Holy crap, that's going to take nine minutes. <laughs> That's okay. It should take nine minutes. All right, let's put um, this back in here. And we still have 23 steel. How much steel do we need to make a blue pickaxe? That's the second thing I would like to make if we can. Uh, oh. I thought we had learned that. I must, uh, I must be confusing that for... Um, our other playthrough, I guess, the, the snowbound one that we just finished before we started this one. Okay, never mind. I guess we're not making steel tools right now, but hopefully eventually we'll come across the uh, thing for that. All right, guys, there it is. Look at that. Woot! Auto shotgun. All right. Let's load her up. Oh, it's got a big drum magazine. Holds 17 shots. Um, and let's see what kind of mods we can put on it. <coughs> So it's, it is going to let us put the duck bill and the foregrip on. That's cool. Um, it probably would not let us put the tripod on, but let's just check. Because if it does, you know, it just increases the damage, if nothing else. No, it doesn't let us put the tripod on. What else could we put on there? I don't want to... Oh, you can put a silencer on. Interesting. Okay. Um... Will it let us put the extended mag on? Let's take a look. Oh, it does. Hot damn. Okay. So now how much can we hold? Okay, 25 rounds. And our damage is uh, 23 uh, per pellet. 
77 rounds per minute, effective range 5 meters, max durability, stun target for a second. Okay, cool. That is awesome, man. Check that out. All right, guys. Um, it is actually the next day for me. I didn't finish last night's uh, recording because I had to go do something in real life. Anyway, <laughs> wouldn't you know it, the uh, Fun Pimps came out with build 169, and I was reading through the patch notes, and they nerfed the freaking shotgun. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to use it yet. Oh, man. So basically, they, they reduced the damage, and they reduced the rate of fire on it. So... Um, you know, whatever it is, what it is. I actually put a um, an auto uh, an auto mod on it though, because I didn't realize this, but this is actually a semi-automatic shotgun. I thought it was just a fully automatic, but it isn't. But you can make it a fully automatic shotgun by putting the full auto mod on it. So the mods that we currently have on it are the duck bill, uh, the full auto mod, and the magazine extender. Um, and I had the foregrip on it too. I'm gonna keep this in my inventory just to see, you know, how how much it does kick. And if it, if it seems like it's really excessive, I might switch that out with the uh, extender. Um, but right now, you know, we've got 25 rounds in the chamber. What is it without that, by the way? Let's just take a quick look. If we take this back off and then reload it, it's 17. Yeah, so. Uh, we'll keep that on unless it's really, really hard to control, and then I might consider putting the stabilizer back on. But for now, we'll we'll go with the extender. And then I'm hoping, I don't know if, if this will work, but I'm hoping we can put the, the tube extender on here later, but we'll see. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's just go test this out and see how it goes. And, um, yeah, just give it give it a real quick test drive before we end this episode here. So we just got to go find some place with some Zika Ruskies. Let's see. How about there? I don't think there's a whole lot of zombies in John's ham radio. We could try this house here. I think this is a tier three house anyway. All right, yeah, let's give this a shot. See, get, get it? Give it a shot. <laughs> I kill me. All right, this floor collapses if I, if this is where I think we are. So, oh shit! Okay, that's not too terribly bad in terms of its fire rate. You know, with the auto mod on it. Here, let's just go down here. What the hell? We got an automatic shotgun. What are we afraid of? Hey, Mr. Crawler. <laughs> wrecking face. Wrecking face. Oh, yeah. All right, so, you know, if... Apparently they nerfed this, but <laughs> maybe I maybe I'm starting to understand why they did now. Holy crap crap. Yeah, holy holy crow. I was trying to say holy crap and holy cow at the same time. Holy crow, that's a new saying. I'm gonna enter that in Webster's. Alright, well, yeah. Man, this thing must have been an absolute beast before they nerfed it. Holy crap, man. Holy cow. Holy crap. Crow. <laughs> holy crow. Oh, uh, man. Is there anything in here? Oh, that just leads into the other room. Okay, well, you know what? Since we're in this house, let's just go ahead and... Oh, finally, we got a bellows. Okay, cool. Been waiting for one of those for a long time. And more uh, motor tool parts. Seems like motor tool parts are a little bit more abundant now than they used to be, which is fine with me, because we're going to need them for augers and chainsaws and that sort of thing. And we might even make a better um, impact wrench later on, too. So, Okay, let's go up here. I mean, we sounds like we already woke up most of the house anyway. Food piles all over the place. Yeah, I'm not going to... You know what? I'm not going to loot the kitchen. Let's just... We'll hit the big stuff. 
and just clear the Zikaruskis out. Okay, so this is where we were before. Nobody behind there. Alright, which way are we supposed to go? Guess we go around here. We should check the wall pictures because sometimes there's safes behind them. There's something... Uh, something in here. It looks like it's a suitcase. And... Is that it? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Luggage. Okay, we'll take that stuff. No secrets under the stairs, huh? Interesting. Okay. I'm here, Zekis. There you go. Break it open. Whoa, hold still. <laughs> that was terrible. Hey, you know what? This thing reloads really fast, which is nice. Of course, I do have a bandolier mod on too, but still. That is very fast reload for a drum magazine. A weapon with a drum, mag drum magazine. Anybody in here? Check the sink. There might be ammo in there. Or a pipe wrench. Wow. Another hole in the floor. Whoops. <laughs> Look at it fall down there. Oh, well, so much for that. <laughs> oh, geez. Can't take me anywhere. Okay, let's go up here. There we go. Man, we are going to get some serious XP on Horde Knight with this thing. I like it. I like it. I'm all about me some uh, auto shotgun. Nothing over here. Ooh, what do we get there? Um, You can craft shotgun slugs, okay. But acid, med supplies, or med supplies, destroyed chem bench, 29 gunpowder. Uh, all right, I got some stuff there, and then the fat loots. Oh, more shotgun parts. Look at that. How about that? All right, that's all good stuff. This um, is probably worth fixing up and selling. Let's ditch that. And of course we want the uh, the mesh mod. So let's drink this. And that does it. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It doesn't take any effort. It doesn't cost anything. And it does help the channel. If you didn't like what you saw, please consider leaving me a constructive comment. And I will consider what you have to say. And I think that's it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.